of a device connected to the network. It must configure an IP address and also needs some other parameters such as the gateway address, DNS address, and so on. And uh, usually, we configure such parameters manually. Okay, and uh, if we configure it manually, maybe it's a heavy workload, okay? You must configure one device after another device, many device you need to configure. And uh, another, when you configure manually, maybe you will make errors, okay? And uh, it's harder to detect it. Okay, so the DHCP protocol is a protocol that configure the IP address, gateways, and the sole parameters automatically for you. Okay, it's simple to implement it. Okay, the DHCP means dynamic host configuration protocol. Okay, then in this chapter, we will discuss how to use the DHCP protocol and the mechanism how DHCP protocol is worked and then how to configure the DHCP protocol, okay? And then first, this is the scenario we used in our enterprise network. All the device in the network need an IP address, host A, host B, and all other hosts. Either we configure it manually, okay? But the DHCP protocol can make a host to request an IP address from a DHCP server. Okay, when that requests, then DHCP server will offer an IP address dynamically for it. And then you did not need to manually configure the IP address for, for this host, okay? And in our enterprise device, we can assign IP address to the network device by three methods. Okay, the first is the simplest way, just using the manual configuration, okay? On this server, usually server IP address cannot be changed, so we use the manual configuration, okay? And uh, others, we can use the DHCP, okay? But the DHCP also have two methods. One is dynamically assigned, such as a user. Use a dynamic assign from an IP address pool, yeah, IP address pure means a range of IP address. Then select the one from this pool dynamically, then assign it to the users, okay? And another, the DHCP, you can configure a fixed IP address for a certain device. For example, this device, we need DHCP assign a certain IP address, cannot be changed, always assign this IP address. Then the DHCP also can implement this. Okay, this is a three method that we assign IP address to the network device. And then, how do DHCP assign IP address to a device? There are some message types, okay. The DHCP use these message types to offer or to request the IP address from the DHCP server. Okay, first, the DHCP discover this is sent by the DHCP client. That means somebody needs the IP address. Then sending a discover to locate where the DHCP server is. That means if there's a DHCP server located in the network, just ask, just looking up, okay? And then the DHCP offer is sent by the server, okay? The server will send an offer to respond to the DHCP discover message. Okay, if the server located in the network then receive a DHCP discover, then sending back an offer. That means I'm the DHCP server and then I can offer one IP address for you. Then the DHCP request, the request is also send the client, send by client. Then the after the DHCP server sending the offer, then the DHCP client knows there is a DHCP server and then sending a request. Then to confirm if you can provide an IP address for me, then the DHCP acknowledge. That's the server to confirm this IP address is sending for you. Okay, you can use it. Okay. And uh, 
if the DHCP server not acknowledged, that means this IP address cannot be used by you, okay? It's not sending for you, then use the DHCP not acknowledge, okay? And then the DHCP release. The release means when the client, for example, your PC is shut down, then this IP address will not used again, not used more, okay? Then you can release this IP address. Then the DHCP server can get this IP address back and then assign this IP address to other device, okay? This is the DHCP messages. Then, first, when you configure a DHCP server, okay, configure DHCP server, you must assign an address pool, an address pool. That's a, that's a range of IP address. In this range of IP address, then if someone request an IP address, then one IP address in this pool will assign it to this device, okay? This is the IP address pool. And in Huawei's network device, such as this is a Huawei's router, you can configure address pool using two methods. There are two methods to configure the IP address pool. And the one method is the interface address pool. Okay, this address pool is configured under the interface, under router's interface. Okay, and another is the global IP address pool. This IP address is configured globally. Okay, then uh, we will see uh, later. But the work process of these two IP address is the same, okay? It's the same. In the, the process for the client to request an IP address from the DHCP server, okay? First, the client sending a DHCP discover, okay? This is using the broadcast. That means if there's a DHCP server there in this network, and then if a DHCP server receive this message, then we are sending back an offer. That means I'm here, I'm the DHCP server, okay? I can offer you the IP address. And then the host A will request, request if I can use this IP address, then the DHCP server acknowledge it. Okay, after this four message, then the host got an IP address. Then this host can use this IP address to access the network, okay? And uh, we should know one thing, that's the IP address, this IP address is least to the host A, okay? Is least to, is least to this host A. And uh, this least have a uh, least time, okay? You cannot, this host cannot use this IP address forever, okay? Usually, by default, the least time is one day. That means, 40 or 24 hours, okay, 24 hours. After 24 hours, the host A must re reconfigured by the DHCP server, okay, must release this IP address and then request again, okay. This is the process for the client to get the IP address in the, the least time, okay. In the, of course, when the least time is is time out, okay, is finished, then the host can re request, okay, request the IP address, a new IP address. But there's a other mechanism we call the least renewal. That means when the least time, for example, this is 24 hours, okay, by default, 24 hours, but when 5% or uh, when 50% time is passed, that means when 12 hour passed, then the host, the DHCP client, we are using a DHCP request to renew the time, to renew the time. Okay, then if the DHCP server responded with the DHCP acknowledge, then this time we are then becoming 24 hours again, okay? 24 hours again. 
and uh, uh, if there is no request, uh, no acknowledge from the server, then the client can continue can use this IP address continuously. Okay, continuously, and then if reached the eighty-seven point five, okay, this time, then there is another process we call the rebinding. Rebinding, okay, rebinding. In the fifty percent, it's a renewal, okay. And in the eighty-seven point five percent, it's a rebinding. Then the client will request again, request again. Then, if the server sending a knowledge, then after this, the time, the least time, become twenty-four hours again. If Sending a not acknowledged, then the client lose this IP address and then should re request, okay, we should request a new IP address from the DHCP server again. And uh, if there is no responding, no responding from the server, then the time will still use, the host can still use the IP address then until the 24 hours, until the least time finished, and then request a new IP address. Okay, this is a rebinding. And uh, during the DHCP client is using the IP address, using the list IP address, then something happened, maybe you powered off your computer, okay? Then this IP address is not used again. So. This client will sending a DHCP release, okay, this message to the DHCP server. And uh, after the DHCP server have get this message, then the DHCP server knows this IP address is no use for host A again. So the DHCP server will collect this IP address back into the IP pool, IP address pool. And if there is a new device, another device request IP address, this IP address can assign to another device again, okay? This is the IP address release, okay? And uh, how to configure, how to configure the DHCP? This is the configuration process, okay? First, in under the system view, you enable the DHCP, okay? Enable the DHCP server, okay? And uh, as we know, the DHCP pool, there are two methods. The first method is the interface pool. So just under the interface, and this interface must assign the IP address, okay? The layer, sign, layer 3 interface, okay? And uh, then the DHCP select interface. Select interface means the DHCP address pool use the, this IP address, okay? And then you can assign some other parameters, such as the DNS, such as the least time. If you're not configure this, uh, the least time is one day, okay? And uh, now it's changed to three days. And the DNS list, if you're not configured, there's no DNS, okay? And uh, the exclude IP address, that means the address pool is uh, 10, one, 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 and then the 24. That means 10, one, 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 two, 10, one, one, and the two, five, four, okay? Two, five, four, okay. This address are included in the IP address pool. Of course, the gateway address already configured on this interface. So the 10, one, one, one is not used. 10, one, one, two can be used. So this is the IP address pool, okay, but you use, we can use this command to exclude this IP address. That means the two still not used. So the IP address pool becomes 10113 to 254, okay? This is the IP address pool, okay? And uh, then after the configuration, we can check. Yeah, we can check the IP pool then the interface, and then we can see. On this, under this interface, this is the uh, least time, 
and this is the DNS server, and the, this is the gateway, and the mask. Yeah, this is a mask. And then the IP address pool. This is IP address pool. And another method is to configure the global address pool. Under this global address pool, the pool is configured on the global configuration, okay? Then first enable the DHCP, then define the IP address pool, okay? This is a pool name, okay? Then the pool network and the mask, and then the gateway list, and then we can configure some parameters, least time. Of course, one day is by default. And uh, under this interface, we can configure DHCP select global. Okay, then this interface enable the DHCP and can respond to the DHCP request from and received on this interface. And the address will select from this pool, okay? And also, we can check display IP pool, this to check the global pool. This is the pool name, and then the gateway, and then the mask. And that total IP address, okay, 253, and used, and idle, okay. This is the DHCP configuration, okay. And at the end, we have two questions. Which IP addresses should generally be excluded from the address pool? Okay. Uh, Usually, the gateway is excluded by default, okay, by default. And uh, usually, if we want to configure some IP address manually to the device in the network, this IP address needed to be excluded, okay. And then second question, what is the default IP address list period? The default IP address list time is one day, okay, 24 hours. Okay, 